This is the inside of the shop. Oh my god. Okay, boys, we are doing some TLC now. Just a quick little oil change on this bait. We got my canted grease pan down there. Plug's ready to come out. Fun fact. This is a magnetic plug, comes right with it. Ooh, look at that black oil. Oh, doctor! Oh, doctor. Pretty sure most of the leaks are from my valve cover. I put some dress up bolts on one side and got lazy, didn't do the other side and left them a little loose. So I just tied them up. Hopefully we won't have any more oil leaks. Now what we're putting in the car is this K&N filter. It's a little bit bigger than the stock, so it has more capacity, which is a good thing. And then we're putting Mobile One 1030 Synthetic. I'm running a hydraulic roller cam, so I don't need any zinc or anything. And I like this stuff, so that's what's going in. I, I heard hydraulic roller cams are slower than flat tappets. What do you have to say to your, for yourself? Listen, at least she moves. Uh, that's not true. This, is, this car has been in the spot for like the last, what, three videos? Nobody knows if, if it moves or not. There's no proof here. Well, say subscribe because you'll find out. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to find out. Huh, humble plug. Ooh, look at that gold. Damn, doctor. Ooh. So, a big problem with Cleveland's is people putting the wrong thermostat in, and I believe I have the wrong one in. I think there's a Windsor in it because all the catalogs online, unless you actually know what you're doing with Cleveland's, give you the wrong thermostat. So we're gonna drain the coolant now. So we're gonna have to do that anyways and replace it with water for the track. So I'm just gonna empty it. Get under here. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh God, what am I watching oh, here? Oh no, it's going down my arm. Go, I'm stuck. Oh, it's in my shirt. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh no. <laughs> what the, what am Dude, I watching? It's not coming off. Take it out! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh uh, god! It's in my mouth. <laughs> Look at his arm. Okay. Went all the way up my armpit. Yeah, that's how it always goes. Oh god, dude! I don't know why it was so hard to get off. Well, it's coming out now, so. Okay. Gotta take the rad cap off, so it's gonna be. A lot more hectic probably right now. Oh! Oh no! Rad hose is off as you can see here. And thermostat's in there, so we're just gonna take this off now. And then we'll see if I did put in the wrong thermostat before. And I'm pretty sure we did. And would you look at that! The complete wrong thermostat. So this is a Windsor South thermostat. I'll show you the correct Robert Shaw one in a second. You can see that little, little plate right there. That's the stock block off plate. And usually those are gone, but luckily mine's still in there. So all I have to do is get the proper thermostat and then I have an extra block off plate for when I get another Cleveland. So this is great. Why would you, why would you ever want two Clevelands? Bro, listen, more Clevelands the merrier. <laughs> oh! These are the two thermostats. This is the Windsor style, and keep in mind, vast majority of parts stores will sell you this one. I got this one off CJ Pony Parts. It says this is what you use, but it's not. Even the local parts store I work for gives me this. Incorrect. You need this style. And the reason for that is you have this in the block, this little plate, and what happens is when it gets hot, this brass part here seals this, blocking off this hole. And what that hole does is allows coolant to go through it back to the water pump, bypassing the radiator for faster warm-ups. So essentially, this style thermostat is always allowing coolant to go through this hole and bypassing the radiator, which is why this car overheats at stoplights during the summer. So I'm sure a vast amount of you Cleveland owners have this problem where the car is fine when you're driving and anywhere else, but as soon as you stop at a light, it overheats. That's why you gotta run this baby, and I'm happy to say that once I install this, I think my cooling problems will be gone. I don't want to say for sure because then... What's the part number, guy? The I'll link it in the description. It's from uh, Team Iron now is where you get it from. All right, facing radiator. Going in now. Sits nice, just like it's supposed to. Beautiful, I scraped all the gasket away now. So I can put the new one on. 
All right, got the hose back on, everything is clamped up. Just gotta screw in the drain plug down there and start putting some distilled water with super coolant that I'll show you guys in a second. Of it though, so I'll post the vertical version. Holy crap, dude! Oh, this does not get to breathe in. Look at this. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, good God. Fuck, too bad I didn't oh. race right then. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna need a bigger fan. We have now come outside to seek refuge. Holy crap, dude. <clears throat> How the lungs? Hurting. <laughs> Filled with rubber. <laughs> <laughs> 